Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, a station where you watch and learn. Your tutor is Mr. Wanyoike. I will be taking you in agriculture. On today's lesson, we are on uh, Form 2 work, lesson 13. The topic is crop production 2 and the subtopic is methods of planting. On to uh, the lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to, number one, state any three methods uh, used in planting food crop and also explain, number two, methods of establishing a pasture crop. Then number three, state advantages of timely planting. Uh, terms used, we have planting and also weeds. Planting refers to the uh, process of placement of planting material into the soil with a name of crop uh, regeneration. Uh, on the other hand, you, we have the weed, that's the second term, and weed refer to any crop that is growing where it is not intended to be growing by the farmer and whose disadvantages outweighs the advantages. On to the factors to consider in timing uh, planting, we have the first one is rainfall. And therefore, rainfall is very, very important. And therefore, the rainfall pattern should be considered. The farmer should know when the short rain falls and when the long rain falls so that you can, uh, they can prepare the land early enough for the plant to benefit from all the rains received throughout the year. Then we have the types of crops to be planted. Uh, for instance, uh, those crops which are supposed to be uh, to, to be planted, uh, which are supposed to be meant for uh, production of food crop or to be used as food crop, should be established area as compared to the rest uh, which are meant maybe uh, for pasture uh, establishment. Then we have the soil type. Uh, the soil type is also a factor to consider when it comes to timely planting. Remember, there are soils which are very difficult to work with. And therefore, if you have a clay soil and it is very dry, uh, during dry season, that is when the land are prepared, you should prepare early enough so that uh, by the time the first rain uh, falls, uh, then the plant will have been uh, planted so that they can benefit from the nitrogen flush, which, is, uh, com uh, which accompanies the first rains. Then we have the market demand. Uh, you should establish your crop uh, or you should plant early enough so that you can harvest the crop when the, the demand is high in the market. Then we have preference to pests and diseases. Uh, some farmers normally establish uh, crops uh, early enough so that they can mature faster and therefore they will run away from pest and disease uh, attack which comes later in the course of the year. Then we have the wind control. Uh, that is another factor to consider. Uh, some plants should be established area so before the wind establishes. And therefore, once the crops, uh, intended crops, establishes uh, uh, area than the weed, it means that they will suppress the weed or smooth as the wind. Uh, then we have advantages of timely planting. Uh, to make maximum use or utilization of the rainfall. Uh, then uh, number two, to escape serious pest and disease attack. And number three, uh, to enjoy or to utilize the nitrogen flush, as I said, which is accompanied by the first rains. Then we have the market prices. Also is another advantage because if you plant uh, early, uh, early enough, it means that you will harvest early enough when the price uh, m uh, are high in the market and therefore making a maximum profit. Then we have the various methods of uh, crop establishment or planting crops uh, which are meant for um, providing providing food uh, to the farmers. The first method is referred to as broadcasting method. And in broadcasting method, uh, the seed are normally scattered in the uh, farm, uh, as you can see from the diagram, which is well 
illustrated there. Then we have also it can uh, be done uh, through mechanization whereby the machines are used to broadcast the seed in the farm and uh, the, 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 uh, later on the, they have a mechanism of uh, burying the seeds uh, so that they can end up germinating and establishing the crop. Then we have the row planting method. In lot planting method some rows are made. Uh, you can see the white tunnels or wh which are dug there. Uh, they represent the laws and the seeds are placed along the laws and shallowly covered with the soil and in the that method we have debulling method uh, we normally use debulling stick or you can use also a panga whereby a panga is used to dig small holes and where you will put the seed and also use the panga to uh, to apply small amount of uh, soil on top of the seed then we have uh, there are various method also two methods of establishing pasture uh, crop uh, we have the first one is over sowing and the other one is under sowing in over sowing method that is where you establish uh, a, a, a pasture on already existing pasture for example grass on a grassland you can uh, just disturb the soil uh, the, the the grass slightly by uh, burning the the grass or by cutting it short then you just uh, establish you grow on top of that existing uh, grass that is what we refer to as over sowing method then we have under sowing in under sowing we normally establish for example a crop a food crop like uh, uh, maize then after the uh, the maize establishes then you in between the rows you can plant the the pasture which you want to to grow then we have uh, uh, the the activities for today's uh, the activity number one is state any three methods of crop establishment and activity number two or question number two explain any four advantages of timely planting and finally number three state any two methods of crop uh, pasture establishment uh, for reference you can refer from secondary agriculture student book two and the publisher we have the Kenya Literature Bureau for more information you can reach us uh, through the following uh, contacts the first one through SMS through the number which is well displayed for you then you can also reach us through YouTube at Elim TV then we have Facebook platform you can use Elim TV then the Twitter you can tweet us at Elim TV underscore KE thank you for joining me in my lesson May God bless you till we meet again in the next lesson. Thank you.